and go. Hey, it's Travis Stevens Truck Power. Uh, got another video for you today. Um, we have a problem with this vehicle. Uh, old Cummins motor, old 250, non-turbo. Um, it is getting fuel in the oil. And I'm gonna show you a procedure we use to find that with a black light and dye. Um, this procedure can be used on any, any uh, engine if that's having the same problem. Uh, this just happens to be the one we have now, so I'm going to show you how we uh, did this, and uh, then we'll run the motor and show you the what the dye looks like. So, <clears throat> customer come in, complain of fuel in the oil. So what we're doing is we're going to run uh, the suction and return line into a bucket of dyed fuel. Uh, the reason we're running the return line in there also is. Uh, sometimes it takes a little longer to find than others and then all your fuel runs into the tank and then everything's died so uh, putting the suction and return into the bucket isolates everything and you can run on a five gallon bucket for a long long time so let me show you what we've done here uh, we'll flip this around so this is our dyed fuel right there in that bucket and then luckily we got high fender so I can show you here but we've run this line right onto the pump and then the other line right here coming off the return and back in the bucket so what we're going to do is go ahead and fire it up and uh, see what we can find okay so this is the top of the motor we've removed the valve covers um, that way we can see down into the injector so, for instance, this is injector number one, two, and so forth. Uh, that way we can look inside with the black light and see where that's coming from. So there's two places the fuel and the oil uh, can come from, either the fuel pump or an injector. So uh, we'll eliminate the injectors by using the dye test. And if we don't see anything, then it will be the fuel pump that is causing the problem. Um, <clears throat> may not be able to hear as a... Uh, this is running, so I'll explain beforehand what we're going to be doing, but uh, we'll be using the black light, and it shows up a lot better through some glasses, so we'll be running the camera through the glasses the best we can. Uh, we'll start with number one, and then we'll go on down the line, and hopefully uh, what we find, you can see this dyed fuel coming out from around the injector, which will tell us uh, where our problem lies. So we'll go ahead and fire that up, see what we can find.
Okay, so hopefully that was uh, visible. It's pretty hard with a running truck to be able to talk and explain what we're doing, but um, if you look, the, uh, uh, the oil's kind of like a, uh, a dull green, and then as the fuel starts to mix, it turns into like a bright green. Yeah, you can see it real well around number three injector. Um, we'll see if we can see it still here now that we're off. Just black light that, and you can see the bright green right there. Let's uh, put it through the glasses real quick and see. Makes a little bit of difference. There you go. Just pr pretty much glows. Um, anyway, you can see that trail of diesel. And so what we're going to end up doing uh, is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull these injectors out. Um, good chance it's just O-rings. I mean, if it was one injector doing it, um, we might change the injector just to be safe. But it's it's coming around five of the six. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just O-ring all these. Uh, try and save the guys some money on injectors and uh, hopefully we get it fixed up. So we'll go ahead and pull them, uh, re-O-ring them, put them back in and uh, go ahead and uh, adjust the valves while we got while we're this far and then go ahead and hook our lines back up and it should be good to go so um kind of hard to see in this old thing but uh, you can do this on uh, any motor uh, when you're looking for fuel in the oil uh, this one's pretty easy just for the ease of, of putting the lines on and stuff but uh, you can you can get it done anywhere so Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and do that, and uh, hopefully she's fixed up. So uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that helps a little bit and uh, helps you diagnose yours.